So this, uh, I came by the one over here on Western and Washington. They got a pretty good selection of ones too. They got the uh, reverse breads or reverse black toes. They got Easter's on deck too, as well as the fives. And then this one right here, I have seen, but first time seeing this in person. One to 10 scale, what do you guys think about these? 140 on the retail, cop pass, fire or trash. This colorway is pretty dope though. Uh, do I like this more than the bread colorway? I'm not too sure, what do you guys think? What's good YouTube, your boy Bosco back again with another sneaker video, MJ Monday back again. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We talking about another Jordan by the title and the thumbnail, you already know what it is. So without further ado, let's jump into the sneaker. So in front of you is the Air Jordan Legacy 312 Low in the white, black, and wolf gray colorway. People are calling these the shadows. These are pretty dope, man. Had to scoop these up. We picked them up for squad also, but I wanted to talk about them before we ship them off. Let me know what you guys think about this shoe overall, the 312 Legacies. They've been coming with some colorways that have been hidden lately. The Chicago colorway is pretty dope. <laughs> this colorway is pretty, pretty dope, and I have seen a blue colorway that's also pretty dope. Haven't seen it in the stores yet, but I've heard about it coming. Look at the quality on this shoe. The toe box is pretty nice on this, man. I'm not mad at these shoes at all. You got the gray toe box. The quality on these 312s are not bad at all. Of course, the stars are aligned on the toe box. Got the Jordan 3 also, which is something that a lot of people do like about this shoe. Some people don't like that, but a lot of people do like that. Uh, the color blocking is on point with the elephant print on the back. Jordan logo on the back also. I mean, from a distance, these look like a Jordan 3 low, if you will. You know what I mean? You got the strap over the toe box, which some people like and don't like. Uh, Nike brand in here. Gives me like an old trainer vibe, old Air Max trainer vibe. That's why I like the strap on this one. Then you have the Jordan Wings logo on the tongue. A lot of dope features. Usually we get the Jordan Wings logo on a shoe. You won't get this one on the shoe also. So that's pretty cool to see. Uh, color blocking is just on point. You got the Jumpman logo on the inside there. This is somebody else's pair, so I'm not gonna take out the insole. You got the gray Jumpman logo in there. Very dope shoe. If I had to get these a rating from a one to 10, I would give these a solid nine, eight and a half, nine. The laces is dope, they came with black laces. No extra laces were here, but if you did a lace swap, white laces would really make this shoe pop. If you had some gray laces, that might look dope too. Maybe take those from your Shadow Ones or something like that. But let me know what you guys think about these overall. Very quick video for MJ Monday. Talking about these Jordan 312 Legacy, the low, low top edition. Uh, any questions or comments, just go ahead and leave it there. These have been hitting stores lately. I've seen these at a, this is, I found this at a shoe palace. So just be on the lookout for them, man. Medial side is pretty clean too. Let me know your complaints about the shoe. What don't you like about the shoe? Is it because it's not a retro Jordan that has retro Jordan features? Give me your thoughts and opinions, of course, for all of that in the comments below. It's your boy Bosco Mitchell. I'm about to get out of here. Have a great day wherever you are in the universe. Deuces.